Coming soon to CW Productions, Dr. Omega, Chapter 1. The Doctor, as always, was the first to step foot outside into the surface of the planet. Nothing quite like standing on an alien world for the first time, he beamed. Depends on the planet, Fred said back. Yes, well, let's see if this one is worth our time. I didn't think much of your world at first, you know, Dr. Omega continued as he led the way through the thick forest ahead. In the undergrowth, Omega and the others could see several more hairy, dinosaur-like creatures scurrying around, playing, and in some instances fighting with one another. The four time travelers, however, stopped as soon as they came across a larger creature at the end of a patch of forest. The monster stood close to 20 feet off the ground. It had four legs that ended in three clawed toes, a long tail that was covered in spikes down either end, and a single row of long, bony spikes down its hump back. The monster also had a mane around its head, which was small, squat, and bird-like. The creature overall was covered in fur except for its legs, belly, and head, all of which were covered in thick scales. It appeared to be a plant eater and somewhat gentle in nature, as when Dr. Omega approached it to pat the beast on the head, it didn't even react. Fascinating, the doctor exclaimed. On this planet, it appears that the on this planet, it appears that the dominant life forms resemble a cross between mammals and reptiles. Makes sense, I suppose. The reptiles and mammals on your planet, Dennis and Fred, evolved from their same ancestors. It looks like on this planet, rather than settled for one or the other, they kept certain characteristics of both for whatever evolutionary reason. Question is, what shall we call these wonderful creatures? Hmm. Hmm. Mamasaurs! Dennis said, only to be met with disappointing looks from the others, except Zaro. I like it! The Martian said enthusiastically. Suddenly, the creature started to groan and back away from the time travelers. Down! Down now, big fella! Relax! We're not going to hurt you! The doctor said reassuringly.